Uh, without any further ado, let's go to our first film tonight, and it's an Aussie flick. We love Aussie flicks. There's not enough of them that come out because during Andre's the year. Because Andre's not here. And now that Andre's not here, there's no cultural cringe. Let's look at Unfinished Guy. La, 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 Hi, mother. Shala, daughter. Shala, go Australia. If the police find you, they'll lock you up. Stop! What do you think you're doing? You don't belong here and you've got no right. My name is John. Cleaners did a runner a couple of nights back. Got herself into a bit of trouble with one of the guests. Yeah, I haven't said anyone. Hello, you rang about girl Shana. I wish to speak to Mr. John Woolley of Shana. Send you back, it's a big mistake. I'll find, I promise, just trust me. Now, these look at Unfinished Sky, which I guess is um, hard to categorise this one, isn't it? Um, Romant well, romantic drama slash thriller. Yes, unusual. Slash atmospheric character study. Alicia, you've got a bit of background about this movie. You'd like to tell our, um, our viewers and a little bit of the plot, but not too much. Yep. Um, I think it's a romance, this one. There's a few sort of slightly political back issues for it. Um, a, William McInnes plays a Queensland farmer who's a little bit of a hermit and finds one day a woman who's been beaten and is in trouble on his farm. And he's not the most openly warm and communicative kind of guy, um, but he takes the woman in to protect her because she's obviously in trouble and the plot thickens from there. It does. Uh, it's a, based on a Dutch film which also had the same leading actress, Monica Hendricks, who learnt Dari for this role where she plays an Afghani. Amazingly versatile, isn't she, to be able to do that? Yes, well, when she started wandering up, you know, Afghani refugee, I'm going, she looks remarkably like the Polish refugee in... No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you're sure, cos. You did your research, though, it's good to see. What did you think? What did you think? Oh, I thought it was uh, terrifically atmospheric, and uh, I really enjoyed it. There were one or two elements that perhaps I thought uh, went to melodrama, which really could have been handled maybe a bit um, more subtly. Uh, but I did really like this one, and you know how much I love William McInnes in Look Both Ways. If I haven't raved about enough, you know, Look Both Ways to you, then go and see that one. Well, he's, mate, a, he's a versatile actor, you know. I mean, a lot of people think he plays the ochre guy and he's very ochre in this and a very stoic character. But, you know, he, he was John Curtin on TV in that miniseries. Oh, yeah. he, he's really yeah, highly respected. He, he has been in some fabulous things. When he's living alone on that farm and you don't know his backstory, but it unfolds as it goes, I'm thinking... D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Me too. And that's why he's out there all alone and living unhappily. Um, but, you know, his story unfolds and there is a reason for why he is, as you say, uncommunicative as he is as well. Um, I thought maybe a couple of the characters were a little over-evil. I don't to, want to say who they are. We're getting towards the end, though, aren't we, in that, in, in that part of the movie. It sort of shifts gear a little bit. Mm. I, I'm not a fan of romantic movies. 
I'm an old cynic, um, but I like I like the characters there, and obviously I didn't think this was like sentimental or n never no, sentimental no. and realistic. And I, I think there wasn't a spoken word in the movie for about the first five minutes, from my memory. I was just thinking there wasn't a whole lot said, but it didn't need to be. I really like the characters. And then it does shift gear towards the end, and it's hard to go on without too many spoilers. Yes. But David Field, who's an incredibly um, uh, interesting actor, playing a, a crooked cop. Gee, I gave that away. Spoiler. And some of the other characters, know what you're saying, do go a bit over the top maybe, a bit one-dimensional. Dimensional. Yes. Well, he comes in as a harmless cop, so look what you've done. Yeah, that's all right. I'm sure it might spoil the viewing. Scoring time, Cos. Oh, I'm going to give it full price. I don't think that it quite reaches the pinnacle of Look Both Ways, which, as I said, really was the top uh, for me. It just was perfection. So this one is full price. Um, what was Look Both Ways? Better than that. Really? Really? I'll hold you to that. Alicia, you're scoring. Uh, I'm full price plus DST as well. I do agree it's not quite as good as Look Both Ways, but hard to compare and... Nothing really does measure up to that. Ah, no, I don't. Alicia but agrees with me. No, I don't think. It, <laughs> no, it's hard to, to hook up to that movie. Titus Tuesday for me, it sort of reminded me a bit of Cactus. Um, I'll go back a little bit because um, an interesting character study that has, has a bit of a laboured pacing. Oh, this is meant to have a bit of a laboured pacing, but I didn't think the ending was, was very convincing. A bit like Cactus for me. Tight ass Tuesday, but certainly worth going to see this Aussie flick before you see any of those winter blockbusters that are overhyped and that are over long. Don't go and see those. Go say, and see this one. Dun, dun, dun.